This is a follow-up of uh, my trying to learn about depolarization on the 1860s version of the gravity cell. And uh, what I've learned is pulling the, these lights at 15 to 20 milliamps, this copper sulfate in these cells is going to get used up in five to seven days. After seven days it gets pretty weak and, and you're going to have to add some more copper sulfate. Another thing I learned was just throwing pennies in these baskets as they as they start to get consumed, they'll they'll lose lose their connection. So you kind of have to stir them around and and uh, make sure that they stay grounded to the basket. So in an attempt to to overcome that, oh, first let me show you where I get my copper sulfate. Uh, this I I get just at the home improvement store. It's called Root Kill. It's 99% copper sulfate pentahydrate. And uh, that's what I'm using for my copper sulfate. Uh, let me show you these real quick. Three little water batteries using conduit, copper wire, and tap water. These things are now 18 months old, year and a half old. They're still lighting that little red LED. But this is, this is what I'm working on right now, trying to overcome the penny deal. I've uh, taken a bunch of pennies like these, heated them up with my butane torch, and uh, created a sink slug like this by melting those pennies and then pouring, pouring that liquid zinc into a uh, little mold. You can make a zinc slug. This, this sink slug here and the, uh, the one in there is probably uh, 20 pennies, 25 pennies, something like that. And you can see it's, it's running the steel wire pancake coil jewel thief. Now this jewel thief is only going to let a couple of milliamps through. This thing will work down into the microamp range, but uh, at maximum it's only going to let a couple of milliamps through. And uh, So I'm going to see how long that copper sulfate will last uh, with a lighter load. Now here's another little experiment that I'm working on and again I've got the zinc slug. Uh, underneath that is just a copper plate. I've got a few of the crystals of the uh, copper sulfate and a piece of felt. And what I've done is, is I've glued, taken just white glue and sidewalk chalk. I scraped off some sidewalk chalk into a powder and uh, mixed it with the glue and painted it onto the bottom of the zinc to see if I couldn't stop this this black corrosion, black oxide that's that's forming on that zinc. And so far, this thing's running three days now, and I see no no uh, black oxide forming. But what I do see, if you can see right there, that's copper. As, as that copper sulfate is attacking the hydrogen going to the copper electrode, it shoots a little piece of the copper metal out of the copper sulfate as it's attacking that hydrogen. And so it is, uh, it is depositing some of that copper onto uh, this electrode. But, but so far, I do not see any of that, that black oxide. And, and like I said, this has been going three days. So that's very encouraging. I, I, I expect it will fail. That, that glue is not waterproof, and I, I suspect it will eventually fail, but uh, so far it's protecting it very well. Here again is, is my uh, bioplastic, just a, a little film of bioplastic that I laid between some magnesium and some copper. And I'm real happy with that. It's, it's still running. But what I wanted to show you here as well is uh, is watch Penny do some tricks here. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to see, but but Penny is is pretty well keeping time with both of these uh, steel wire pancake coil jewel thieves. But if I adjust this, the blink rate on this to where it's you can't hardly see it blink. Notice Penny synchronizes with 
with the steel wire. And I know lid motor and slider and some other users have shown this as well. Now what's very interesting is, is I can adjust this black one. It, it will adjust penny. The red one will adjust penny. But penny will not affect either of the steel wire jewel thieves. So that, that's very interesting. Uh, additionally, I've noticed, and I need to get a uh, microamp meter, but I've, I've additionally noticed that uh, there does not seem to be any additional drain on the battery when, uh, when I take that blinking out. So, so that's very curious as well. Uh, I need to confirm that with a, with, a, with a better meter. But that sure seems to be the indication is that it does not affect the battery. So those are the things I wanted to show. I, I, uh, so far I'm real happy with this and we'll see how it works. And uh, I thank you for watching.